Mm. What's up, Sagittarius? Mm. This is your bonus reading um, for the month of February. Um, last two weeks of it. So, this is Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What energy do you have for you guys today? <laughs> So, ooh, first three cards off. The Chariot, the um, Six of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So, definitely going on a journey. This is like triple travel energy. It's like destiny, destiny, destination, um, divine, um, divine intervention like get your ass on the fucking road basically get your ass to wherever you're trying to go like whatever you're trying to do do it now because this is like like it's like on every level they're helping you so you're going to succeed for sure um this is weird too though okay so you have the king of wands the empress and the high priestess so again it's like triple people um, so for me, this is like, okay, so this is like your subconscious, like, you got a lot of shit going on underneath the surface, but the king of wands says, like, you don't necessarily know what to do with your passions and desires in the future, but the empress also, too, like, you tear all three down also, it's like, like, you're comfortable, but you're not where you want to be. And you got some, like, ideas, but they're just ideas. And you got some shit going on underneath the surface, but you really don't know what it is yet. So it's like, you're just kind of like, that's what I'm feeling. Um, you got two more cards, though. But it's like, you've been beating yourself up pretty badly, but know that, like, your destiny is in your hands with this Wheel of Fortune. It's like, you have the power to change it anytime you want to. You don't have to be suspended in these three energies if you don't want to. And you could be dealing with, like, a Taurus, um, a Taurus Libra, or, um, a fire sign. Definitely a fire. There's a lot of fire in this. Um. So fire signs, um, I didn't even get it out, but here pop the sign. So definitely fire signs. I mean, this is Gemini. I was gonna say Gemini, and then the sun popped. And you know, the sun actually is the little guy on the horse is actually for Gemini, which that's your like inner child. That's like your. It's like the um, guy who's like old and young at the same time. It's kind of like. That's what that energy embodies. It's like an old man. It's like a Benjamin Button almost. Ooh. So you have somebody coming in to deliver you a message, whether that be this Jesus spirit, this Eshu spirit, whatever, whatever religion you are, um, delivering you like a divine message from heaven, or maybe it's like a soulmate coming in, or twin flame connection coming in, but just keep your eyes out so you don't miss that because this is upside down as well so it's like um something is coming but you're just in this weird energy like this whole side is like down and this whole side is up which is very strange um, um so with the Ace of Cups, it's about sharing your knowledge and letting everything you know, like, flow through you almost. Like, let the divine flow through you and let these, like, streams of consciousness or streams of water flow back into the collective. It's basically, like, one example that I've heard for that. But it could be a lot of other things. It could be, like, you know, with the, these two together, it could be, um, like... Um, a message of love. It could be like definitely, definitely somebody coming in as a soulmate connection. Especially with the sun right there, like 
but you're gonna have like a lot of options, okay? So you're gonna need to make sure you have a clear head, a clear mind. You need to get all this energy taken care of because this Ace of Swords is like your ticket, your chance. So you don't wanna fuck it up. It's going to be like, you're gonna know when this opportunity presents itself because it's gonna almost like, like stab you. But don't think about it too hard. Don't be like, because you're gonna have a shit ton of options. But half these options aren't even real. They're just like, you see how these ones are invisible? It's like, they're not real. They're still in the etheric realm. They're just ideas. They haven't manifested yet. Like, they're bullshit, basically. So make sure that what you're getting is like truth and what you're getting is like clear, like ready to go now. Because it's like, this, this energy is gonna clear out here by the, after the end of the month, the beginning of um, March. So this popped right over the Ace of Cups, so it it might be even bigger than just a soulmate connection. It might be something like a prophecy, because this is like the Hierophant, right? That popped over the Ace of Cups and with this, where we were talking about Jesus and the Divine Will of Heaven. So it might be something bigger. You might be getting a lot of mysterious signs like this month. Um, because you guys are like this stupid, like you are this like arrow, you're here to like divide people and like put them in the like and figure out who's who. So that might just be in your own life, that might be on a larger scale, but the higher fan, it definitely like says like you're a leader of some sort of group, you're the leader of some sort of organization, whether it be school or work or like you own your own company, maybe you just like lead with, naturally with your friends. Some In some aspect of your life, you have a little bit of authority. So it's like use that to your advantage with this message, whatever it is, when you get it. But don't, um, don't think about it too hard because you'll end up like just killing yourself. It's like, yeah, don't let everyone stab you in the back don't think about it too long don't hinder yourself in the process of this shit after you get this message don't hang on to it very long because the first three energies were about like in this reading was about traveling right and the second um three was like all these like people energies like the high priestess the empress and the wands the wands that are about like acting their fire or whatever it's like with a wand you can either um, use it as a walking stick, or you can use it as like a, or whatever. Where a sword, you can only just cut people. Like, you can still use your wand to like hit motherfuckers too, but it's like multi-purpose for right? So you can use your wands for a lot of things, so be careful when you start swinging your swords around and swinging your words around and being like grouchy and angry and like just slicing people up with your words. Be careful what you say before you do it, or before you say it, because you don't know like, who's listening, who's around you, who's gonna like really like be offended by that shit. Not even just offended, but you're gonna lose like serious friends over this energy if you just start like swinging your sword around acting like an ass before you get all the details to whatever this is for this message. Mm -hmm. Let me further clarify on this. The world with the page of pentacles so maybe you're dealing with an earth sign and um they're going to be the ones delivering you this message but the world signifies like this time of completion this time where you feel whole this time where you feel fulfilled and not a lot of times people have that energy they are rarely ever and the energy of completion and wholeness and unity. So when you do have this energy, you want to like sit and meditate on it and like almost like take notes or like write a journal for the day and like just say what you are like thankful for and what do you feel whole in and what is like before you try to jump to this like next thing, just try to like bask in that energy because we don't take enough time to like chill a lot of the time. But like, share, subscribe, comment. Bye, Sagittarius.